that it was our first day back in the gym and I actually feel pretty freaking good I don't know if it's because like I lost a lot of weight so you guys know that I just got my jaw surgery about a month ago it's been a month time flies so it's been about a month now and for the past month I haven't been able to really eat a lot <laughs> god damn hey Google but um yeah, so I 
haven't been able to like really eat a lot and I lost about 15 pounds. So you guys know that in June I got my um, liposuction 360 BBL, like whatever. And um, I was like 135 pounds. And then I just got my jaw surgery about four weeks ago. And before that, I was about 135, 34 pounds. Now I am 120 pounds. And that is because of like my inability to eat and stuff. So um, I lost a lot of my butt. Not a lot, but I lost some of my butt. And my legs got like really small. So um that's cool you know we just gotta get in the gym and gain get our gains back um but i'm i am kind of happy that i did lose some weight because like my upper body was like really chunky <laughs> the upper body baby my goal is to tone up and slim down um my upper body for sure and then build my lower body because my legs i feel like my legs look too small and you know i want my you know you you know i want that booty to be bigger or whatever so yeah we're gonna um continue on with our fitness journey starting november i'm gonna be working out with the trainer so yeah let's get to it um yeah i'm gonna make me some breakfast real quick i got me some eggs i'm gonna make me two bowl of eggs and then um some hot cereal don't judge me but i mean i i always eat oatmeal i love me some good oatmeal i put some blueberries in my oatmeal some honey you don't be schmacking. But this is hot cereal. Is that the same thing as oatmeal? I don't know. It looks like it, but I've never called like oatmeal hot cereal before. Anyways, um, I got this from Trader Joe's. I love Trader Joe's because Trader Joe's is um, very much obtainable because I could spend like $60 in um, Trader Joe's and have a whole like week and a half worth of groceries, which is like a great. Um, but yeah, I just got my water boiling right now for my Oatmeal and my bowl of eggs. So this is gonna be my first time having hot cereal. I don't have any blueberries, so I'm just going to use my raspberries before they get old, and my honey, and um, I'm gonna make some tea. Last night I had the, I took the tea me colon tea. My fact, let me show y'all. I hope that noise don't bother me. No way. Anyways, I had the teeny colon tea last night and um, Kendra is. That thing had me on the toilet this morning. So this morning I'm going to um, make my tea and I'm going to use the teeny skinny tea. I had tried this a couple months ago when, back when I was in New York and I was using it for like two weeks or so and it really did help with um, making me feel like not bloated and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's gonna help me, you know, keep the tummy flat and not out, you know, during the day after eating. Because y'all, for the past month, I've really been just eating like ramen and noodles and and pad thai soup and just pad pad soup and just all of that. And that's just a lot of. Um, like, I don't know, I guess just after eating all that, I just been feeling like really bloated. Even though I know I lost a lot of weight, I still feel very like, <laughs> um, because that's literally just all that I've been eating. So I'm really trying to stay away from that now, now that I can kind of like chew a little bit more. So this is my first time actually eating breakfast in a very long time, um, because eating was not enjoyable. So I didn't really care to freaking eat, um, but yeah. Cereal is pretty good. Yeah, whatever that means. I like it better than oatmeal. It's getting weird. But I still didn't get this right.
Plus I got this brand in me Curly yellow dancing on me Said she smelled a green on me And she straight from California Figure who she wanna be Tell me she like boys and girls Oh well that's okay with me Then she said My old boo let me blue I really love it So cold and so cruel So many colors Play hoes like pro tools Can't never trust them Trust them, trust them, trust them Now fuck them, fuck them, fuck them, fuck them, fuck them, fuck them. I think I want another dog because she requires too much attention. And I don't be feeling like it. No, who are you just doing too much? I just be wanting all the attention. I just be doing too much. I just be doing too much. She hi everybody. My God. You feel better? Nah. You feel better? That feel better. That feel better. See, I feel better. Nah. Come on, cause I should do. Girl, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Go. <laughs> button down below and hit that bell notification button too so you can get notifications on whenever I post a new video now if you are a returning kindred then I am pretty sure you're like up to date on my last couple of videos and you are fully aware that I have began my self love journey and I really do mean self love journey y'all know I make wigs for a living I have not been wearing any of my wigs for the past month I haven't been wearing makeup for the past month up until this very moment and I haven't even been wearing nails for the past month. I recently just got my nails done like a couple days ago. And I, even then I kept it like very natural, minus the color, you know, the color cute but whatnot. not. Um, but yeah, I mean, I chose to do this because it forced me to like walk around my house. Whenever I walk around my house and I'm passing the mirror to like look at myself and just see Najee in the raw in the most purest of form and to honestly just sit in my shit and i say sit in my shit because i had to like take a step back and really just like reflect and be like like damn Najee, like where did you go wrong like how the fuck did you end up here and honestly it's because Najee did not love herself enough you know i'm not simple-minded i'm not oblivious you know, I know what's right and what's wrong. I know 
um, what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. And I know what love looks like, or I have an idea of what love looks like, and I have, and I know what love doesn't look like. And this isn't what love looks like. This has me looking like Ebony from the Players Club. I can joke about that, but it's really not funny. And the root of it all is just boils down to just like me not loving myself. Like to a point where before this even happened, before this tragedy happening, you know, I can't remember the last time I was able to like look in the mirror and me have my natural hair out, me not wear any makeup and me be looking at myself like, damn girl, you pretty or feel good or feel confident. And that is really sad, but I'm th that's one positive that came out of all of this. Like I'm, I'm really grateful. Like now I can look in the mirror and just feel com comfortable and confident um, with myself. So yeah, the end goal for me in all of this is to just um, really learn how to love myself more than anybody else. And unfortunately, that is something that I have not yet mastered. Um, a lot of people had questions and was asking a lot of questions like, what happened? You know, what's going on now? Is he in real? You know, stuff like that. And I will talk about um, that eventually. I just wasn't ready to talk about that when you guys were heavily asking about it because um, I just felt like how can I aspire to want to inspire um, women to leave these toxic and physical relationships when I'm technically still married like how can I aspire to inspire women to just um, love themselves in their most rawest forms when I actually don't love myself in the most rawest form. So I held back a lot, you know, after that incident. Um, but I did see all of you guys' messages. I did see all of you guys' comments. Um, and even though I'm like halfway posting my journey on a YouTube, which is a really, really huge platform, I still am and was very much embarrassed and ashamed. And um, I just felt like I had to do that, like I had to um, post that uh, because it's just been too long. And I felt like, you know, maybe if I didn't let the world know, then there is a huge possibility that I can go back to that um, because we are humans of, um, habit like we are creatures of habit and I've been going back and back and back for so long and I figured like if I post this then I'd be crazy to go back because then everybody would look at me like I'm crazy and I know it's not about like how people perceive you but just for me I had to do what I had to do to just make sure like Najee this is the end because next time there is not going to be a next time like you know, and that's why I made that comment where I was like, even if you don't want to do it for yourself, do it for your friends and family because they're going to be the ones mourning your death when you're gone. And that is absolutely true. So, yeah, that was kind of like a, a little ram, a little, a little lot. But like I said, this is my self-love journey. I am being like extremely vulnerable with you guys. Um, and yeah, I think what's um, going to help me is having this routine and minimalizing my look and my image and just my lifestyle in general. I'm just trying to live like a minimalistic type of lifestyle, you know? And I say all of this because I want to introduce this brand that goes by the name um, Merit. They did send me um, makeup. They are a skincare and makeup brand. They sent me this a couple months ago. And I was like, this is kind of like the perfect timing for me to like bring this out because it fits with the type of lifestyle that I'm trying to um, create, manifest for myself. Their motto is less is more. And they're really big on promoting like a minimalistic, um, accessible um, routine for women. And um, yeah, I love their products, the consistency of their products, what they stand for. Um, they are a vegan brand as well, so they don't have like a lot of harsh chemicals and stuff in their products. And that's what I use today. Like, yes, you know, um, 
I've been like, you know, haven't been wearing makeup, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, I was looking at <laughs> myself earlier and I was like, okay, you're cute or whatever, but you do look a little rough. And it's probably because I'm not like getting enough nutrients in my body. I haven't been getting like enough nutrients in my body, so my skin has been looking like really weird. But today, I decided to use um, Merit's products and I love the way my skin looks. It's really giving that real deal makeup, no makeup look. Um, so I thought that that was great. So yeah, I just want to get into this bag that they sent me, Kindreds. First and foremost, I want to say that this bag is so cute and super chic. I think that it's really clever that they use this in their minimalistic um, collection that they sent me. Super cute and really good for traveling. Like if you're going away for the weekend and you don't want to really pack a lot, and um, you just have like this cute little bag where you can just throw your makeup in, pull it out with a cute little mirror, do your makeup real fast. Like it's just really cute for that minimalistic type of lifestyle that I'm going for. So um, yeah, I'm really excited to share um, this brand with you guys. I think that you guys will really love it. And um, yeah, let's just get into this bag, Kendrick. It's going down now Been at it for a while And I have had enough of this I doubt that we can solve it Been trying for so long And I just can't ignore That it won't ever be the same No, we will never be that good again Don't drag it out Skip the innocence I'm gonna go ahead and um, move on to just like getting rid of this box right here. So I have a styling chair that's in um, storage, but the color scheme in my old apartment in New York was really dark and so the, the styling chair was black. Um, I'm going to do like a different color scheme here in Atlanta. So I went ahead and got a new chair, a new styling chair from Min Minerva. Um, I'm not gonna put it together tonight because I have um, one of my closest friends coming in um, for their birthday and he's gonna help me clean out like my storage unit and help me hook up my space uh, so that way my home can be aesthetically pleasing and ready to um, take on clients here in Atlanta. I'm super excited about that. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just like unbox it because I'm really excited to see my new styling chair um, and get rid of this box because I want to do this trial haul in front of the mirror for you guys um, after. I have some really cute stuff that I want to share with you guys. Um, so, yeah, that's what I do right now. Hey, Google. Play TNT by Nyana. I looked for TNT by my Nash, but it either isn't available or can't be played right now. Hey, Google. Play TNT by Nyana. Naive by the Coops. Sure. No! Playing on YouTube music. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Play TNT by Nayana. Don't Love Me. Remix by Tiana Taylor. Sure. Playing on YouTube music. Hey, Google. Play TNT by Nayana. 
playing Tchaikovsky, Suite No. 4, Opus 61, Mozart Diana 1887, on YouTube Music. Play Nayana TNT. Playing Neon Troll 10 Hour Edition on YouTube Music. Yo, I, I've never seen this. Play TNT by Nayana IZ. Sister of Athena by Engard. Sure. Oh no. Playing on YouTube Music. Oh, yeah, he got me fucked up. Sister of Athena! You never tell me! I think I like this. Oh shit! Sister of Athena! Shazam. It's called Sister Berthina by McGarren. Okay. Download this song. I like it. I could do like a cute little remix to this. Play TNT by Nayana Iz. TNT by Nayana is sure. Playing on YouTube yeah. Music. Hey Google. Turn the music up, two notches. It was freaking expensive for this thing was expensive. But glad we got that. But yeah, I know it's gonna take me some time to like get settled um, in my apartment, whatever. Um, but I'm just like really excited for this new journey. And I'm gonna move on to this trial haul. I'm gonna clean this mirror because I think it needs to be clean. And clean this wall because I noticed that like I did not know this, but Instead of blowing out your candles, put the top back on your candles because that smoke in the air, even though you can't see it, you'll end up seeing it. Because look, this is this came from the smoke in the air. I don't know if you guys can see, but my like base to my salon chair was up against this wall, and like the plastic, I think, attracted like the smoke and it got on the wall. And 
how I know it was that from the candle and how it traveled all the way over there is because of this. Y'all gonna be like, what the fuck when you see this? But I'm gonna clean it. I know how to clean it, but look at this. This is crazy. Look at the hell what the hell happened over here. Do y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see that, but do y'all see that? Hold on. But do y'all see that? Crazy. So I have to clean that. I was like, oh my God, am I gonna be able to clean this? But yeah, I'll be able to clean it. Lord, and it all came from this because I blew the candle out. And instead of just putting the top on it, I blew the candle out and like all the smoke was like, <sighs> Lord have mercy. Um, you guys really enjoyed my last try on haul in my previous vlog. It was my TJ Maxx slash Skims dupes try on haul. And um, this try on haul is just going to be a combination of a few things um, that I got from a couple of different places. But first and foremost, I want to show you guys this bag that I forgot to add in my last TJ Maxx try on haul. Um, it's so cute, it's so chic. Uh, like look at this bag look how cute this bag is and I got it from TJ Maxx Kendrizz TJ Maxx is literally the freaking goal do not sleep on TJ Maxx you can always find some really good finds in TJ Maxx this bag is super cute it was definitely giving me like big mama Bottega vibes or whatever but yeah this bag is um Super cute, and it wasn't that expensive. Well, I think it was probably like fifty dollars or whatever. I can't really remember. I'm gonna go look at the receipt and put the price right here. But <laughs> this bag is so cute. I haven't um yet. I haven't worn it yet, but I'm super excited to. I want to. Um, it's already in this. It's already in its last hole, but I want to make a. Another hole because I want the bag to actually be able to adjust as like a shoulder bag and not like a crisscross bag. Like, let me, let me show you. I would really like for the bag to kind of be like this, like this short. Like, I think this is so cute without obviously the long strap. I think this is so cute. So, that's what I'm gonna do with this bag. Oh, so cute. And I can wear it like this. And I can wear it like this. And like this. And like this. <laughs> and um, yeah, moving on. This is another really cute double-sided bag. It's literally two bags in one. It has an opening here and an opening here. One side is white and like suede. This side is like cream and like crocodile snake material, crocodile material. And then the handle on the bag is super cute. It's metal, it's silver, and it's kind of like resembling like um, like the, the part of the zipper, like the flip part of the zipper that always um, gets stuck or broken. Um, yeah, this is so cute. I thought this bag was super cute. I got it from Meniere de Bar. Y'all, I talk about Meniere de Bar all the freaking time. I've been wearing their stuff a lot lately, like even in my vlogs. Every time I like wear something, I'm like, oh, I got this from Meniere de Bar. So this is like one of their bags that I got. Super cute. You guys have um, never seen this bag. I don't know if it's like too bright in here, but hold on, let me see. And then moving on, this um, bucket hat I got from Meniere de Bar. Um, you guys have seen this probably in my second to last video, I think. Yes, in my second to last video. Um, yeah, this is cute. But let's just move on to the clothes now. Let's have fun, let's have some fun now. Hey Google, play Poison. Playing poison on YouTube music. Girl, I must warn you. I sense something strange in my mind. Yeah, yo, situation. We're running out of time. Mm -hmm. Tell them, right? 
relationships they seem from the start. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's all so deadly when love is not together from the heart. It is so cute. I got it actually because I thought that it was the same like jean material as these pants, but it's not. And that is okay because I'm still gonna wear it with these jeans. It doesn't have to be the same exact denim, but it's close enough. And um, I think that is super cute. Absolutely love it. It's like real denim. Oh, and it smells so good and so fresh. It also has a strap so you can wear it as like a crossbody purse, but I'm gonna most likely just wear it as a clutch. I think that it's so cute. So y'all cannot tell me that all this stuff, especially that I got from Anita Bar, um, is not fire. Um, but honestly, everything that, I mean, I, I mean, obviously I feel this way because I bought it, but everything that I bought is fire. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. I'm not a, a, a finesser on my channel hauls. It's either I like the stuff or I don't, mainly because I am spending my own money on it. So <laughs> yeah, and even if I was spending my own money on it, I would still be honest. But um, yeah, this is so cute. But that's it for the trial haul. And that's really almost it for this vlog. After this, I'm actually just going to make myself some dinner. Now that I can um, really eat, I'm gonna make me some salmon, rice, and some um, a little bit of spinach, and or sauteed spinach, and have me a glass of wine, and just relax the rest of the night. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, try on haul and this just the entire vlog because I want y'all to know that I am trying. It's like really hard. It's been it's been really hard. You know it's hard out here for a few when you're trying to get this money for the rent. And the Cadillacs and guys want to spend. Because a whole lot of kindreds jump in shit. <laughs> Something new that I'm trying is Mom Back. I've never had like this brand before. 
Um, and I'm finally going to eat dinner, because I'm starving. Um, I think we're gonna do salmon, not I think, because I already just thought out the meat. So I'm gonna eat salmon, some rice, some salty spinach, and we're going to, um, after we eat, crawl in the bed, get on my computer, respond to emails, finish editing this video, and um, go to bed. We have a long day tomorrow. Oh, I ain't take this shit out my god. Hold on, my quick, hold on. Thank you. Thank you. If you send me the look, you're not the right thing. I'm gonna come checking.